I just noticed game development is not just about Unity. It's much more than that. It's research, inspiration, imagination, learning, balance, time management, and most importantly, consistency. After posting the second video, the first thing I noticed was that even though I was making a golf game, I didn't know anything about golf. A couple of things weren't right, and I didn't know why. The map seemed a little too small. There was no way of telling where or how far the ball should go. The ball was rolling for 50 meters after landing. I didn't know what par, eagle or bird was. I didn't know how to start making 3D assets or what the art direction should be. I had all these questions, but no idea in what order I should solve them. I decided to start with how golf balls work. After all, without a golf ball, you can't play golf. After skimming through some papers and a couple of videos, I learned that golf balls stop because they rotate backward at a really high speed, which also helps them overcome the air resistance because of their shapes. But if you think I would implement any of that, you would be mistaken. I just need to fake it well enough. Unless you are making a simulation game, I think this is the right way. After some hours, faking the physics of a golf ball fixed the rolling issue. Now that it's out of the way, I could focus on how far the ball should go. There were two variables that I had to take into consideration. The initial angle of the projectile to the ground and the magnitude of the force. I checked the angle and the air travel distances of wedge, iron, driver and putter and added them into the game. Again using a little fakery, I was able to create four different clubs that felt different and had different functions. Now I know how far the ball can go, which can be used to determine the map size. I knew for most of the maps I wanted to make the players take at least two shots to make it to the green, which is the light green area around the flag. So around 1.5 times the driver's distance at full power seemed reasonable. Then I learned how scoring works both in real life and V-Golf. There is a par score which is determined by the distance between starting position and the golf flag. Let's say that the par is 3 shots for this course. If you put the ball in 3 shots, you get 0 score. If you put ball in fewer shots, you get less score and if you shoot more than 3 times, you get more score. The lower your score, the better your performance is. To solve the art direction issue, I tried to imagine how I would like the game to look and created this simple art inspiration board in Milanot. And the last issue is not fully solved yet, but I started learning 3D art creation by following the steps in this video. I'm not even halfway done, but I know if I don't give up, I'll complete it sometime in the future. After fiddling with the new settings for a while in Unity, now we have a distance indicator and minimap to show the distance, much better golf physics and overall better visuals. I hope this video helped you a bit to understand how my process works. If you have anything you are curious about, please mention it in the comments. If you liked the video, please don't forget to subscribe and like. If you'd like to go the extra mile, also share, get in Discord and pledge on Patreon. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, see you next time.